we offer some of the best builder grade carpet money can buy. Well, we were hoping with the additional money we gave you, you could at least upgrade the pad. Well, since this is one of our better carpets, you don't even need a pad. Probably the most important thing when it comes to carpet is the pad that goes down underneath it. You definitely need a high grade pad for your carpet because one, it'll help prevent wear from just walking across the carpet or from the carpet being stretched. Without the pad underneath it, it'd be very easy for the carpet to move back and forth. Plus it has a lot of other great features like it keeps your feet warmer in the winter time. That pad acts as an insulator between you and the concrete slab or the pier and beam foundation that you have. Either way, it's going to keep your feet warmer. Plus it also cuts down on noise when people are walking upstairs. If there's a good quality pad underneath the carpet, you're not going to hear that sound reverberate throughout the rest of the house as easily. Now there's a lot of choices when it comes to pad as well as carpet. We've got both right over here. Let's go take a look. This is called Rebond Pad and it's by far and away the most popular pad out there. Builders all across the country use this. It's very inexpensive, that's probably why it's so popular, but it does wear very well. So you can see it's got a lot of different colors in it. That's because there's a lot of different materials. It's actually made out of old car seats, old tennis shoes, so it's even environmentally friendly. And again, the most popular and used the most. Next to it here, we have a vinyl pad. Now what's nice about this is if your carpet ever gets wet, it'll clean up on the vinyl. If you have the rebond pad, it's wasted. You need to pull up the carpet, throw away the pad, and start over again. With the vinyl pad, you can wipe it off. And if you have allergies, this is always great to have because the dust will settle on top of the vinyl. You can vacuum it up. You don't need to replace the pad. And then down below, our last one, is actually a polyurethane pad. Now this is really nice and the most expensive. It's half an inch thick, but it's the same density throughout, same firmness throughout, very soft, so it feels like you're walking on a cloud when you move around on your carpet. Very, very good pad. We'll start here with a Berber carpet. Now, Berber is nice because it doesn't wear easily. If you take it from someone who's got kids, this is a great carpet to have. The yarn actually comes up and then goes back down into the carpet backing. So what you see is the top of a lot of loops. So it's nearly indestructible and you can pour stuff on it and it cleans up easy. Now when you get a Berber carpet, you need to remember to go with a 3 8 inch pad instead of a half inch. You may think you want the half inch because it's more cushy, but not with Berber because with this type of loop going back down, it's hard to hide the seams. So you need a 3 8 inch pad that won't pull apart as much when you actually walk across it. Next to it here, we have a cut loop which is almost like a Berber. If you look in it, it's got loops just like a Berber carpet does, but then it's got pieces that actually stick out almost like a shag. So it's got a combination. Some people call it trackless, and there's some others here next to it that they also use the name trackless once in a while. But it's, it's a nice carpet. It's got a totally different look. It's a good branded yarn, so no fuzzies pull up on it. But it is both a combination of Berber and almost like a shag where they've actually taken something there and cut the loop itself. On top is the shag. The 60s are coming back in the movies. I guess it is on carpet too. And you can see this is really a tall shag. I mean, we've got yarn that's sticking out over an inch here. Good twist rate on it, so it'll wear real nice, but it looks hairy. Next to it, we've got probably what's most common. It's just a short shag. You see this all across the country. It's a nice carpet and it will wear well because we've got a good grade here, good twist rate on it. And then next to it, we have the most expensive. This is actually wool. The rest of these are acrylic nylons, but this is actual real wool. And as you can imagine, it is expensive. This one runs about $110 a yard. And if you got enough money for this type of carpet, you've got enough for a housekeeper and you're gonna need it because this shows everything, lint, anything else that goes along. Now remember, if you're getting new carpet in your house, you need a good quality contractor to install it. And the most important thing, make sure that you buy a quality pad.